Hello, 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 and in today's video Nahida will crack some nuts. We'll make main DPS Nahida and we'll understand why main DPS Nahida sometimes is not a bad idea. And we'll build easiest team to play in this game right now. Should you try main DPS Nahida? Let's find out. Nahida, and she is the best dendra support in the game right now. She has best off-field dendra application. She is the best elemental mastery buffer in the game. And she can deal insane amount of damage even being sub DPS with a support build. But in some teams you still use Nahida as a driver. And because her skill doesn't snapshot and her elemental mastery buff applies only to the on-field character, make Nahida your main DPS is not that bad idea. And let's see at the build that we will be using in today's video. And let's start with artifacts and best artifact set for the main DPS Nahida is Guild of Dreams. Because her main source of damage scales with Elemental Mastery and there are not that many ways to get Elemental Mastery in this game. And for the weapons, we'll be using Solar Pro today, because I want to do consistent damage without any Dynamics buffs. But you can use Witsit for the big screenshot damage, Sacrificial Fragments for the Elemental Mastery, Lost Prayer because of crit rate and Elemental Damage bonus, Skyward Atlas will not work because we don't benefit from attack much. And of course her signature weapon and Kagura's Verity will work great on her. But we don't have them, so we will be using Solar Pearl today. And for the talents, let's level up her basics, even though this wouldn't be our main source of damage. But a little bit of extra damage is always appreciated. And we are ending with talent H10 and H. And yes, my Nahida is C2, but even C0 Nahida will do insane amount of damage. You can still use C0 Nahida with today's build with impressive results. And for the stats we have 530 H Elemental Mastery, 56 to 172 crit ratio. Yes, we can go low on crit rate because Nahida can buff her crit rate with her talent. So let's test the damage. Solo Nahida. And Solo Nahida just doesn't work because her main source of damage is 3 Karma Purification from her skill. And in order to trigger that, you need to use elemental reactions. And if you try to use Nahida solo, you wouldn't do any damage. So we're doing 2000 with a normal attack. Skill doesn't crit, but we're doing 2000. And if we use charge attacks, it's 4000. Pretty low number, so let's go further. Electro reactions. So right now in the game, if we are thinking about Dendro, Electro comes in mind. And what we are expecting from Electro character in this team. Because of Nahida's accession passive, we need someone in the team who will have 1000 elemental mastery. And yet, this will be Electro character. And that's why we need units that can consistently apply Electro through their skills. Best 5 stars is Yeimika and Raiden, best 4 stars is Kuki Shinobu and Fischl. Why Beidou, Lisa and any other burst characters doesn't work? Because it's hard to get 1000 elemental mastery with enough energy recharge to get their burst back to back. In my case I'm using Raiden because I don't have Cookie and my Fischl is not level up. So my Raiden have 960 elemental mastery, but we will fix this later. For artifacts she's using full flower of paradise lost set. Right now passive it doesn't matter, but later this will all make sense. But you can use full elemental mastery guild your dreams. And now we can test our real damage. Starting with Nahida's best, failing to apply Dendra, using Electra skill, alright, dodging. We need to use skill, alright. Now we're doing damage. 42k! That actually pretty huge damage for only two character team. So alright, we need to increase it even more. Second Dendra character. And yes, we need second Dendra character. And not only because Dendra Elemental Resonance will boost our Elemental Mastery even more. But someone in the team should use Deepwood Memory set. And Dendra characters are perfect candidates for it. And for this role any 4 star unit can work. Kalei, Dendra Traveler or Yao Yao. And because we don't use Cookie and I want to add some safety to the team, I will be using Yao Yao. And the good thing about Yao Yao, with her C1 we can improve our Dendra damage bonus. And let's see at the damage. I'm using Chi Chi as a blend character, because if we are using only 3 characters, Elemental Resonance doesn't work. So starting with Nahida, Raiden, Yao Yao skill, Nahida skill, and we are doing 63k. 
63k. Damage is already insane, actually. And this damage is already enough to beat Spiral Abyss. And even with these three characters, I would say our team is already set. But anyways, let's take advantages of our fourth character. Last teammate. To increase overall damage of this team, you can basically add any support or sub DPS. But the best way to increase damage will be adding Sing Tzu or Yelan. We already have perfect setup for Hyper Bloom team, we have Electro character with 1000 elemental mastery, we have a lot of Dendro application and only thing that we are missing is strong Hydra application. And to see the difference between Hyper Carry Nahida and Hyper Bloom Carry Nahida, first let's test the damage with Lisa as the sub DPS and the support. So let's go. Starting with Nahida, Raiden skill, Yao Yao skill, Liz's burst, starting attacks with Nahida and we are doing 69k, 69k per 3 karma activation and we are destroying this boss in no time. Damage is already really good, but let's switch to Hydra applicator. Sing to or Yellow. And the main difference between Sing Tzu or Yelen is Sing Tzu has more Hydra application and will be creating more Dendro cause. But with Yelen we will be increasing damage of Nahida's skill, but will be create less Dendro cause. And Sing Tzu is more defensive unit, he will reduce damage to us, he will give resistance to interruption and a little bit of healing. And because Nahida is kinda glass cannon, Sing Tzu will be the better option for a lot of players. But in today's video we increasing Nahida's damage, that's why I'll be using Yellen because of her passive and with the allergy for the end bow. And let's see at the damage. Nahida's skill, Nahida's burst, Raiden skill, Yao Yao skill, Yellen burst and skill, going to Nahida and we're just pressing delete button. So I'm doing 70k with 3 karma and 70k crits with hyper blooms. We have two sources of damage and both of them are doing insane amount. And everything combined this team became ridiculously overpowered. So let's test everything in Spiral Abyss. So we are going second half, just to crack some nuts. So starting with applying Dendro, Nahida's burst, Raiden skill, Yao Yao skill, Yelon's burst and skill and start dancing with Nahida. And they're just melting. Yes, they are already done. Alright, I'm frozen. We start resetting Nahida. Raiden. Yao Yao skill. Yelan. And again. Start dancing with Nahida. So we are taking a lot of damage. Let's Heal up. Resetting Raiden's E. Yao Yao is, is not ready. So let's go to Nahida. And let's finish their shields. Unfortunately, Raiden cannot activate Hyper Blooms against shields. But Nahida will be enough. So stop running from me. Okay. 66 seconds with Unga Bunga. Press random button playstyle. That's perfect. Alright, second chamber Black Knights. Let's collect energy. So, applying danger. Raiden skill. Yao Yao skill. Yelan's burst. Going to Nahida. Using skill again. And starting normal attacks. Alright, they're not staying together. That's a little bit unfortunate, but they're still going down pretty fast. Nice. Let's reset. Raiden skill. Let's heal up with Yawa Yawa a bit. Stop hitting me, please. Alright, going to Yellow. Yellow skill. Nahida's burst. And just start dancing. Stop blocking, stop blocking. Face me, you coward. I'm small, you big. Alright, let's finish them. We'll not use Yelan's burst here. 
because Nahida already has insane amount of damage and can finish them by herself. So 65 seconds without breaking any sweat. So we not. Let's collect NG again. So starting with precasting. Yao Yao skill. Yelon's burst and skill. Nahida's burst. Starting normal attacks. Just relax play style. We are not sweating at all. I think this is easiest way to play Genshin Impact right now. So a little bit of reset. He's going down. So let's reset energy before his knockdown phase. Alright, energy restored. Starting precasting, Nahida's burst. Applying Dendra, Raiden skill, Yao Yao skill, Yao and burst and skill. Going to Nahida's, using skill again, and starting normal attacks. And he's just melting. We can see numbers because of his weird hitbox. And he's almost down. <laughs> Alright, let's quick reset. Yelan. Yelan's burst and he's dead. <laughs> Come on. This was easiest way to beat Vina. 75 seconds with low effort gameplay. So I'm not forget about the damage per screenshot, so let's maximize Nahida damage to ridiculous amount. So starting with Nahida, Lisa, Bennett, Mono skill and burst. Go to Nahida using skill, using charge attack. What's going on? Let's let's slow down a bit. So I go to Nahida using her skill 90k, 148k, 63k, using Nahida charge, HT 7k plus 140hk again. That was just ridiculous damage in couple of seconds. So, thank you for the watching, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.